Hey guys, it's Wilma Kaysen and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an update for you guys regarding the items that I dropped off to get repaired at Louis Vuitton. I'm going to go over the price, how long it took, and show you some before and after photos. So if this is something that you like, stay tuned. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. And if you're a return viewer and to all of my subbies, hello and welcome back. So if you guys did not see my vlog from when I went to the Louis Vuitton store back in January, I will link that video below. I went to get some varnishing done on the edge of four items. One item was rejected. I did a whole video on that as well. I will also link that below. And three other items, two four key holders, and one six credit card wallet that I have. I sent those out to get repaired and to get revarnished, and finally, they came back. Initially, when I went to Louis Vuitton, they gave me one of these envelopes here, and my essay who helped me at the time, Cheryl, was so kind, she wrote repairs on top because I purchased some things, I had some things hot stamped, so she just kind of gave me multiple envelopes. I think it's like that saffron yellow, their new packaging. She gave me this envelope that had my repairs on it, and she basically broke down all of the information for me and told me how much each repair was projected to cost and everything. So that is that there. And when I got a phone call last week to come pick up my items, I was so excited because that meant that nothing else was rejected. And I went in to go pick up my items. This time I was helped by another sales associate who is, was just absolutely amazing. When I walked in there, I got my items in this lovely saffron bag with the blue handles. Again, this signifies their new packaging, which I just am in love with. When they repaired my items, they, they were going to give me boxes. I don't need any more Louis Vuitton bags or boxes. I have them all over my house. It's ridiculous. So my items, like I said, came in this bag here. All three of my items came in their own dust bags. And of course, I looked at the items when I was in the store because I was not leaving until I made sure everything was perfect. So as I said, they all came in a dust bag. And these are the older dust bags with the, the brown writing. And each item comes with this Louis Vuitton card here that says Louis Vuitton on the outside. And on the inside, it looks like this. There's a card on the inside that reads, Louis Vuitton has the pleasure of returning your repaired product. Your product has been carefully repaired by our expert craftsmen who work meticulously to restore your product to the highest standards of quality. If we could be of any other assistance, please contact us at Louis Vuitton store or at www.louisvuitton.com. So that's the card that comes with each item to let you know that it was repaired and that they back their repairs. And the first item is my Damier Eben six a credit card billfold which I just absolutely love they did a wonderful job on the varnishing there on both sides again I will link the video below so that you can see the difference in this and how thick of a coating or the glazing is on this piece here the next item which is the item I had the issue with came in the dust bag and it is my Damia Eben four key holder and if you look guys the varnishing is just amazing now on the edge of this there were such issues with it and it looks really really good so I'm excited to have this back and the last item which I never used because I was afraid I got it this around the same time that I got the Damia Eben one, and I was just afraid because the varnishing was not done well. And that is the monogram canvas for key holder. And I just had them reglaze it. Even though it was never used, I had them reglaze it just because the glazing on this was thin. And three years had gone by since I purchased it. And they clearly were not going to do it for free, so I had to pay for that. Speaking of payments, let's hop into how much everything cost. Here is the receipt for the first item. First item is a Dami Eben clay or multi clay or four key holder and that costs $60. So both of the clays cost $60 to get revarnished. 
and the port bill documents six credit cards and the dummy event cost $90 to get revarnished. So was it a little pricey? It's debatable. Some people might find it pricey, especially the $90 for the wallet, but they did such an amazing job on each of the items that I am just super, super stoked to have them back and I'm ready to use them. So because every time that I'm in the Louis Vuitton store, especially when I'm getting repairs done and I'm or I'm picking up something or I'm having them look up something like um, my port document jour. I, when I was in there this time, my port document jour, I am looking for the matching luggage tag with the silver ruthium hardware, I believe. Or rhodium, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a silver hardware, and I'm also and I was also looking for the luggage handle that goes with that bag. I blame it on Doc Luxury because I was watching his video, and whoever his sales associate is, she gets him the works. So on his port document jour in the color Neptune, he has the luggage tag, like I said, and that little silver thing that connects the luggage tag to the ring as well as the luggage holder. So I had my lovely sales associate looking that up like crazy. I'm in the store, as always, for two and three hours, and I felt horrible because of just all the transactions and looking up things and everything. And whenever I'm in there just picking up something, and although I paid for my repairs, I felt like I wasn't buying anything. I took up all of her time and didn't buy anything. So guilt set in and I was just I just happened to be looking and guys the item that I picked up came in this bag here is my receipt and the item that I picked up I never I didn't realize that I didn't have it in my collection and I feel like everyone who's a collector or everyone who starts a Louis Vuitton collection has this item and I don't know how I didn't start my collection with this but I'm so excited to have it now I wonder if you guys can guess what it is. It comes in this box here with the bow, which I thought was cute. And I always tell them, I don't need all the bells and whistles. I have enough of these things at home, but I thought it was cute of her to wrap this up for me. And I'm gonna just remove the ribbon to reveal the dust bag. Are you guys over there guessing what it is? And I picked up a clay guys this is my very not my first one I'm sorry I do have another clay I have a green clay to, to match my Barino green keep all but I never had a monogram one and or one that I would use every day the green one I specifically have to go with my green keep all but I never had a monogram camera so I never had a Damia even one and everyone has one so I figure it's the cheapest thing that they have and it's the least I can do and I know their job is the, the job is to service us when we go into these stores but I felt like it took up so much of our time so I felt like I have to buy something and I had been looking at one and I'm like why don't I have this and in talking to her she's like you have everything I've ever seen in a man's collection like why don't you have a clay and it's universal everyone has it and I'm like I know I should get one right so this is new to my collection it is the long overdue clay or a key pouch or a key holder in the monogram canvas and it's just two pieces of monogram canvas. It has the gold hardware. It zips open to reveal the chain here, which you can just open up and it clips on anything you can clip it inside a bag you can clip it on your belt loop you can just close this up and hold cards in it put it in a bag I'm so excited to start using this because I have nothing to keep my loyalty cards and the my E Saint Laurent card holder that I just purchased I've been carrying that faithfully for about a week and I love it um, but I'm using my central cards there I need something to put like you know rewards cards and insurance cards and things of that nature so i think that's what i'm going to use this for and i'm going to tuck the chain on the inside and just drop this in a bag and i will tell you guys what the reference number is on this the reference number is m is in mary 62650 and the price of this was 200 us dollars so 
I am so excited to have this, guys. It was kind of like a surprise purchase and surprise unboxing. Um, and I'm just excited to have it in my collection. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys how amazing my repairs turned out and to share my newest acquisition with you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. By the time I load this video, it will be Monday. So wishing you all a wonderful start to your week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.